We trekked for about seven kilometers through the thickets of Ntuti Kabeho in Sembabwe district under the scorching sun, tracing the roots of the nomadic Twezi people of the 14th century. The shrubs cover the entire walkways. We're trying to find out who are the Bachwez? Where did they used to live? And is it true those people still exist? There is no human settlement around this place after the police evicted over 5,000 illegal occupants last year. Our female guide leads the way but declines to be seen on camera for privacy reasons. Some of the locals believe she inherited the Chwezi spirits. After a couple of hours, we reach the entrance of the Chwezi dynasty. The gate of the palace starts from here because we see their ways. This is getting out, this is coming in. The reason why they extended it is because so many people were here. They were digging, doing the work that is not supposed to be done here. So now that the people went, these people are returning. They are returning. Through them, so you, you can see. Have, have you ever experienced one? You is, can see, you. and then the person disappears, but they are human beings. They are like human beings because they are covering white. They are dressed in white. Mm -hmm. You can only see the face. They appear. Now they appear because ever since they have been appearing. But you can get scared and then you faint. You want to prove that? You spend the night and you say, I really want to see you. I show you where to sleep. You see them. Oh boy, I got a proof. We are headed to Bigobiamjeni, where these ancient and peculiar people say to have lived. The Chweza are believed to have landed on River Nile in around 2000 BC and are said to have founded the ancient empire of Chitara, which includes areas of present-day central, western and southern Uganda, as well as northern Tanzania, western Kenya and eastern Congo. According to the caretakers, this area was used as the entrance to the palace of the people, the Chwezi, considered to be demigods and mystical. This top is an important top, in, like hill in Ibigovia Amgeni, one of the most important places. Reasons are reserved for them, for the Chwezi. But they are telling us that you protect this hill, it is very important in our culture, that means there is a secret reason why they preserve it, because all the houses that were built on this top, all of them got burnt. If you find me here when I'm putting on a, a, a skin, you can even get scared of me. But they appear in white. While here, we, we are warned this. against expressing curiosity. Woo! You seen that? You wanted a snake? Don't mention that again, that you want to say snake, because it is there. Legend has it that the Chwez dug forts around their territory as a defensive mechanism to prevent enemies from encroaching on their zone. Any, anything wrong. <coughs> the moment you follow their route when you're not right, huh? you disappear. Right, it, like when you're not... When you've taken like things they don't want. What are those things? Like when you, have, when you booze and then you come. Like when you eat pork, eating fish, they believe in seeds, not blood. Like you can take beans, you can eat guinats, anything. Scholars say that the Chwez dynasty could have been short-lived with a history of three supporting kings, Ndahura, Mulindwa and Wamara. <sighs> As you can see, it's hard to tell which animal could have left its odours or the wastes here. But according to the people who take care of this area, they are saying at night, it, most of the times you find so many animals like leopards and many others just around this fire. I have to first put something like fire in order to ask for permission from the Bachwezi. But to me, I even don't know if these people really exist. So, anyway, 
Let me follow the rules. The Bachwezi, who I don't know, I would like to enter this place on behalf of NTV Uganda. I'm here for one purpose, to show the whole world who you are. Because most of the people just look at this as something mystical or a theory or a myth. So I'd like to enter at this juncture and see what happens inside. <coughs> I hope you've been granted permission. You're supposed again to go to another place. This is a hut that has got two entrances or an entrance and an exit before you access the major big house which they call the home for the Bachwezi. And it's a must, you cannot access here before passing through this place. It's like a quarter guard in terms of the army where after, before you access the barracks, you must ask for permission for the man who is, or a person who is manning that quarter guard. So even here, there is fire. But one thing I don't understand is why almost everything that concerns the ancestors, the so-called ancestors, you must find a spear, you must find fire. Now this house, it has got so many entrances. We believe that these people, they use trenches as their ways. Mm. That is why the other door is facing in that trench. In the shrine, you find all sorts of regalia and artifacts that offers some credence to this ancient society's existence. This one, they are separated and beaded to show that this one is someone's. This is for children, this is for adults. Like as in a home, yeah, there yeah. is a man and a woman. This is right, a man left, this is a lady's room. We don't have yet a house for the king. We don't have a king yet as we go Amgeni, but at least we know we have a man. The Bachwez are believed to be vegetarians. They do not eat anything that contains blood. And uh, you can see this is Sim Sim. So the people who come here to pray, you either come with seeds and put them in these baskets, and then you can say your prayer. People come here for different reasons. Others come when they are mad. A person comes in here minus food. Mm. So you, a person who has brought a lot, it makes food for them and you have helped the virtues serve their people with lunch for that day. That means you're rewarded in that. The virtues, they don't understand the money language. That is why you can't see money here. Some people still believe the trees exist in spirit and are able to solve the problems of their mortal descendants whenever they are besieged. I ask the caretaker whether she is aware of the present-day descendants of the Bachwezi. They are the Banyankole, the Batoro, the Banyolo, the Bachiga, all the Westerners are Bachwezi. And this is where visitors sleep. The history can be traced, but the reality of seeing a Muchwezi remains a mystery that could take centuries to discover. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.